Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Elizabeth, and today I wanted to share a message with you that people are watching you. <laughs> All right, hopefully nothing creepy or anything, but I just wanted to say that people are watching you. So are you a parent? Um, are Do you have a job where maybe people, there's a lot of people around? Do you just interact in the world? People are watching you. So I don't want this to be overwhelming or scary or creepy or whatever. This is meant to encourage you because people see what you do, right? So I don't know if any of you have heard of David Goggins. He is incredible and he wrote a book called Can't Hurt Me about his life. He was a Navy SEAL. He also did all of the special forces, um, I think in the Air Force and other military branches as well. And he is a supernatural human. He is incredible. He's a human just like anybody else. And he's been through struggles. He was extremely overweight. He was an exterminator for a while, etc. Um, but then he decided to change his life and he did it not just once, he did it twice. Um, he even was very overweight and he ended up doing like a hundred mile race with Jesse Itzler, who is Sarah Blakely's husband. And he even ended up living with Jesse Itzler and Sarah. Um, I've done a video on Sarah Blakely, the billionaire um, founder and inventor of Spanx, if you want to check that one out. But I have I read Can't Hurt Me a few years ago. It's awesome. Just about mindset. Um, I think that's such a big thing in our society. And just for me, I'm always working on my mindset and trying to get a stronger mindset um, and a better master mastery of myself and my emotions and how I show up and my habits and my attitude and all that stuff. I think it can always get better. Um, but the reason I'm talking about this is because he motivates so many people. Now, can we all be David Goggins? Maybe not because we're meant to be ourselves. Can we be do some of the things he does or did? Sure. Why not? But he has so many millions and millions of people who have listened to his story, who follow him on Instagram, etc., who've watched his interviews. I can link some here. Like, honestly, check him out if you haven't. But he's so motivating and inspiring. And he's like, stay hard. Like, stay tough. Who's going to carry the boats? And he has all these sayings and some merch on it as well. Um, and I've been fascinated with some military guys and the elite military guys and what type of mindset that they have to have and things like that. That's another topic for another time if you're interested. But it was so funny because a lot of my students have been saying that. Um, and it's really cool. I teach health and PE right now. And it's so fun because we get to work on all the social emotional aspects and about mindset and pushing yourself and things and collaborating and teamwork and leadership. Like it's really cool. I've really enjoyed getting to work on that. But a lot of them talk about David Goggins. It's so cool um, and they talk about him and like they use that when they're trying to do more push-ups or get the laps in and trying to encourage each other but the reason I'm talking about I just went off on a tangent but I'm coming let's bring it back is people are watching so even my students like I went out for like I ran the track like a mile <laughs> and some of them then they were running um, it was on my planning period and um, so after I get my work done sometimes I'll just get a quick lap in or something and they're like, yes, Mrs. Davenport, you're like David Goggins out there. <laughs> it was hilarious. It honestly made my day. I was like, yes, because I highly revere David Goggins. Like he, um, he really works hard and challenges himself and jumps into ice cold water and like runs miles and miles and miles and does pushups and pushups and pushups. I think he has the most pushups, the world record for the most pushups in a day. Like he's incredible. So I am nowhere near this David Goggins, but like, it's, it could be so simple. I just did a mile. And some of these kids are like, you're like David Goggins, Mrs. Davenport. And I'm like, what? So people are watching. I think then they said like, you're out there like trying to, you're always like out there trying to do more or whatever. And that thing, I have no idea if it impacted them or whatever, but it impacted me where I'm like, people are watching. So I'm watching myself. I know I can be my own worst critic. I don't know if anybody else is out there like that, where you have that desire to be better and you're going to be your own worst critic. Like people can say whatever they want about you, but at the end of the day, like what you say is going to impact you the most because you're like, Ugh, I know I could have done more on that or, oh, I know I could do better. Ugh, I'm kind of in a funky mood. I know I can get out of this. Like, this is not me. What am I doing? But I just want to let you know that you need to do things for you. So what do you want? What do you want in your life? How do you want to show up? How do you want to be? What type of life do you want to live? I talk about that all the time. I have some videos on this. I'm going to be doing some more videos on this and building the life that you want. But people are watching you. And so this is important, especially if you're a parent, you have kids, like they're watching what you do. They're listening to what you're saying, but really they're going to see more of what you do. What type of person, if you say you could be anything you want to be, they'll probably believe that. But also if you've 
become who you want to be, that's great. Or if you're constantly working on yourself, or if you're eating healthy, eat your vegetables, little Johnny, but then you never eat vegetables. Like, come on there. Come on. Right. And so I challenge you to step up and to step into your power and to know that how you show up matters. Now, do we all have to show up perfectly all the time? No, like I'm not perfect at all. Like I'm not always like this. Hey guys, we got this. Let's go. You know, I sometimes I'm very, I can be very like quiet and just content and peaceful. Or sometimes I do get in a little funky mood, but overall, like your energy and your light and what you're doing, the actions that you do matter. It matters for yourself. It matters for your life and what you're going to get in your life. And so if you're not putting in the time and the habits and the result, you're not going to get the results, right? But then you're also like, you have a chance to inspire people, to motivate other people. Have you ever been inspired when someone else does something? You're like, dang, like, I want to do that. Or if you go see someone out on a run, like those kids saw me on a run, they're like, yeah, let's go. I'm going to go a little harder on my run. Or I'm going to go go for a run later too. Or maybe I'm going to do a hit workout. I don't like to run, but I want to get some exercise in, right? Like, let's encourage each other. Let's motivate each other. Let's inspire each other to be better. Have you guys ever heard of that? That you're the accumulation of the five people you spend the most time around or with? And so start thinking about that. Like you're affecting each other, whether you realize it or not. So let's affect each other in a good way and try to minimize the damage of some of our bad habits or things that we don't want to rub off on other people. And let's work on those as well to minimize them and make those as small and make our light and our good habits and all of these good things and our encouragement a bigger thing. So I hope this message was helpful to you. I just wanted to share this. I felt like it made a little difference in my day and maybe it could help you in your day. So think about that. Think about how you're showing up for yourself because that's what matters at the end of the day. You have control of you and you can't control a lot of things in the world, but you can control you. So really what I love about Goggins too is he's so focused on himself and bringing out the best in himself and trying to live that life and be courageous enough and have grit and keep going and to become who he can be. I think that's so inspiring when people really want to tap into their potential, right? And we don't just go along with the days, like tap in, like you guys have so much inside of you. We all have so much inside of us. Like I was telling my husband last night, I was like, I just feel like I have so much inside of me that I just need to figure it out and get out there. And I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm going to keep trying. And I think that's the goal to keep trying to stay committed and to keep going and to try to inspire and motivate yourself. And if it motivates somebody else or encourages somebody else along the way, then that's awesome. We all need to lead, uh, be leaders in our life and to lead our own life and hopefully that will help lead other people as well so thank you so much for being here i hope this message was helpful let me know in the comments below if anything resonated with you have you heard of david goggins do you want to check him out um, i can link his book um, or some videos in the comments below in the description below and i will see you guys in another video so feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it feel free to subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys later thank you so much guys you got this Stay motivated. Keep working on yourself. You never know who will see you, but you will always see you. So do it for you. Do it for you. And at the end of the day, it might help somebody else too. Bye guys. You got this.